We received a call to come into the hospital and once we were there, we were ushered into a small room where there was a neurologist, a genetic counsellor and a social worker. And it was there that we were told the news that something had come up in Alessia's newborn screening. It was a genetic condition that was known as spinal muscular atrophy or SMA. And it was the first time we had ever heard those words before. We had no idea what it meant. She was pre-symptomatic, thankfully. In the natural yeah. course of the condition would dictate that her muscles would waste away and it would affect her ability to sit up, to crawl, to walk, to meet all of her milestones to the point where she would lose the ability to breathe and ultimately it would take her life. So we were looking at a lifespan of two years at best case scenario. With gene therapy and SMA, the timing is everything. Um, we we're very, very fortunate to be picked up on the newborn screening um, and we had to move fast uh, because uh, at the time, Alessia, and she remained this way, but she was pre-symptomatic. That was part of the criteria to, uh, that, she had, that Alessia had to meet to um, go on to the clinical trial. The way that gene therapy was basically explained to us was that Alessia was missing a gene and gene therapy would provide her with a manufactured gene that would replace what she was missing. So that would involve a one-off infusion. It well, honestly lasted probably about an hour and she slept through it all. And that's the only treatment that she's had so far. And now yeah, she's riding scooters, riding a bike, going to school, um, running around. When you first become a parent, you feel like, you know, you're going to see them grow up and meet all these milestones and hopefully one day potentially get married, have a family of their own. And when you're told that that potentially won't happen, it's devastating. So when you start to see her smashing these goals and meeting those milestones and growing up and starting school and you just, you know, think back to those days when you thought this may never happen. And yet here she is and it's just incredible. We're really excited to see all the breakthroughs and all the treatment and research that's going on in this space. And to think that 10 years ago there was nothing and now we have three different treatments available. Who's to say what the next 10 years will hold?